Welcome back to the channel. I hope you are well. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. I cannot believe we're already at this point. That means that there's only five Vlogmas episodes left of the year, which means we've got to make this last few videos count and super special. And today I've got such a fun day planned for us all. So morning is going to be a podcast recording because actually our podcast is going to go live on Christmas Day, which makes it like even more special. So we're going to do like a matching red pajama episode so we've got that to record this morning Mia's going to pick me up at any second and we're going to head over to record the podcast and then this afternoon I've actually booked us tickets to go to Warwick Castle and it's like an open air ice skating and I'm so excited I haven't been ice skating with Mia oh my god but it was our thing like that's what makes it even more special like we used to go ice skating every friday it was like our little bestie day like we used to see all of our friends from school and it was like the highlight of our lives and i feel like there's nothing more special magical festive than an ice skating date so we're gonna go and do that this afternoon at warwick castle which i feel like will be such a vibe like at a castle we're going ice skating at a castle that is literally unreal so we're gonna have a lovely bestie day i just thought i'd pop on and say good morning i've tried to do this little bow in my hair but i think i might have to get mia to redo it like i did it a bit small i think like it needs to be like bigger and looser so bear with me i will show you if we get it perfect but i think i should have like i don't know it's quite hard to do on yourself like this is how it looks i don't know how like what's the vibe but makeup is done i got up literally at six o'clock this morning and i was like so delusional i was trying to pretend like no i was like you just booked that alarm booked that alarm you just set that alarm for a joke i was like it's not the real alarm and then like the other half of my brain was like yes it is you've got a vlogmas episode to edit jode and it was like get up bitch get up so i got up edited that did my makeup i've just popped out i've just got home i've literally in my pajamas fur coat and slippers we're feeling festive we're feeling red merry i've got my uggs ready for ice skating later and yeah i'm just excited for a fun day to be honest so i thought i'd just pop on and say good morning but mia's gonna pick me up in a sec so i will see you guys there hello Hi guys nice. from the christmas podcasters Here we are. we're in our matching pjs we're just setting up actually we've got what tea have we got digest spearmint i haven't had a spearmint tea for a while haven't you it's because you just cleared up oh what's that got comfortable yeah <laughs> got very comfortable <laughs> we've got some lovely mugs for getting to the christmas spirit yeah i love christmas don't you raw Yes, yeah, you fucking times. love it. I love Christmas. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be our setup, I think. Christmas tree. Right, this is what it's looking like. Well, you've got ever so comfortable there, and I yeah, think actually, actually mommy's sitting there. Yeah, but I need my co host. Unless you want to <laughs> get on. take the episode away. Do you know anything about it? No. Uh, the crackers are in it, but I don't know if they look a bit shit. Let me see. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <Not> <laughs> yeah, let's just move up. Stop we'll just pull off. a cracker okay. at the end to be fun. To be fun and crazy. Fun and festive. <laughs> right, we'll come back once we have recorded, but then we're going to get ready and then we're going to head over to and Warwick. Have to eat. Yeah, and have something to eat. Yes, how many advent calendars I had to catch up on? How many? Because I had a lot as well. Six. Six? Yeah, so you I've Scrooge? Been, well, because I've been poorly, I couldn't eat them, so oh, I thought, what's the point if I can't taste? Don't enjoy I had three this morning and that was a good time. I was there after dinner, opening I all the doors, me and Dad had a race. <laughs> I was like, I've got more fast. <laughs> Right, BRB. Cooey, right. We're on the way. We've just stopped at a services. We've got about half an hour drive still to Warwick Castle. Have we? Yeah. But we've got some crisps. Mia got a Burger King. And I wanted to get a sandwich from Greg's, but they didn't have any sandwiches because it was like a little van. So they I didn't just really got... like have much. Did it was they? like a pop-up, wasn't it? Pop-up pop shop. shop. I got I a chicken royale and we got some crisps. Mia got little some Fanta. Let me know if you like Fanta Fruit Twist, guys. We both love Fanta love Fruit Twist. I'm just, I'm constantly craving full fat coke at the moment. I haven't had one in a while. Really? No. Oh. Look, I've probably had about five this week. Really? Yeah. You know it's Christmas. It's Christmas is back here. I feel like all rules of food, like, out. are out the window. Do like you? Yes, I when I went to do my food job, I brought hummus, which I never buy. I try to stay away. I brought Ritz crackers, mm. I brought Angel Delight, I brought chocolate, I brought Doritos just for fun. Mm -hmm. You know, you just gotta really enjoy yourself now. And if Jodie's enjoying herself, everyone should be. <laughs> she's strict. I'm letting go. 
letting go and feeling the Christmas. I think as long as I'm having like a healthy tea, I don't feel too bad. As long as I've had some sort of fruit and veg, mm-hmm. I can get on board. Same. And pass me the cheese board. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't wait. Nothing better. You know what I had? What? Do you like camembert? I've never tried it. Oh, I feel like you would. Would I? Mm. Is it good? I've always wanted to try it. Yeah. I re- I never had really tried it, but last Christmas we got proper into it and we'd have like one a day. Mm. And like we was all just like... Proper have it with Christmas. Yeah, yeah, and like just dipping it in and like it's so good. But on Saturday, Ollie made camembert mash and it was so good. Because really? I don't really care for cheesy mash. Like if someone does it, great. You know, if not, I'm not that bothered. But this was like incredible. Mm. It was like thick creamy cheesy mash with camembert and it was so good. Was it incredible? Mm-hmm. I'm, like, I'm putting that in my recipe book. I need to try one. Mm-hmm. When you do your food up, just pick one up, get a crusty loaf, put it in the oven and like it's nice to have like you know like before your Sunday dinner as like a little pick or just like in front mm. of the TV. It's okay. such a mood. I love Christmas. Mm-hmm. Like okay. we've been having cheese and crackers and things like that and like, it just yeah. makes me so happy. Mm-hmm. Mm, hot chocolate galore. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's all I crave. Mm-hmm. Every night. Hot choc. Hot choc. I know what I need. Literally, like I feel like hot chocolate just like just pre- presents all the vibes you mm-hmm. need. Agreed. Right. We will see you when we're there. We shouldn't be too long. And will it's we not be raining, late? so no. I don't think so, as long as we get on the road. Two minutes to spare. I'm going. We meant to get like 15 minutes before, aren't we? What can we do? These girls need feeding. Mm. I feel like we'd have struggled if we were starving. Mm. It wouldn't have been so enjoyable. See you there. Change of plan. The ice skating rink is out of use, but they said that we should be able to go on in the next like three o'clock. So we're just gonna we're gonna hold fire. Luckily, there's like a little Christmas like market with food, so we're gonna get hot chocolate while we wait. Thank you so you. much. Have, have a lovely day. day. See you Bye. later. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Yours wasn't wet, but I don't know if you put a bit of pressure on it yet. Do you know what I mean? I might just sit on the too. Right, we've got hot chocolate. It's currently half past two, and they said that it should be back up and ready for quarter past three. Yeah, because she said, get that. So it's really wet. I'm going to say that's mine. Look, oh, it's my coat. Okay. It's white. I was going to say, London short. Hot chocolate, so. <laughs> Is it nice? Mm-hmm. They look really cute. They do, don't they? It's actually really cute here, though. I like the little Christmas market. Me too. This is the castle, and then there's all little shops, and then the ice skating's over there. So we'll probably sit here, chat, and then we'll pick you back up when there's ice skating. But we thought we had good vibes today, but hopefully. I mean, it's meant to happen. Yeah, everything happens the way it's supposed to, okay? Guys, we'll give you OOTD before. What a cool dude. Quick OOTDs. Go. <laughs> Primark coat, Adenola hoodie, white fox flares, boo ego. Shoes. These are the ego ones. Oh gosh, can't keep up. Yeah, what about you? Boohoo, Zara top, PLT flares. Oops. Oh, we've also got our ear muffs. Uh, no problem here. If you're, um, on these the might side, be too small to be fair. Let's not get too far. Don't stress. Oh, that'd be a wound. 35 centimetres. No, you don't. It like, takes me back. Oh, my God, me too. Oh, no, perfect. Gosh. Do you look like a kid? Hold on. Do you feel comfortable? I'm fine. A bit roomy, if anything. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> no, right, we've got to put our bags away, so. I can't, it has to be on the ice. Yeah, it's not, it's not giving anything here. That's such a shame because I feel like... We're on! Woo! Steady girl! This music will have to call it a name, but we're actually very good, I have to say. We've kicked it back up, and some right.
guys sorry about it being so dark i don't know why my window wipers are on but i'm back now obviously i will catch up with you guys properly in a minute but i just pulled up at asda because one i want to see if they've got those like cute viral pajamas that have gone crazy on tiktok because me and my mom still need matching christmas pajamas for christmas Eve. what's going on with the focus today we still need to get matching pajamas and also i need puff pastry because sainsbury's had none so honestly i look such a state now but yeah i'm gonna go and see if they've got either of those things i'm hoping that they have the pajamas at least i've just put on this big fur coat because it is actually quite cold all of a sudden so these look like the cutest that are in here to be honest i mean i wanted the button up ones obviously but they're currently half price but i don't know if i just get these i mean oh that one's got tan on i'd have to get two these two i mean they're not the cutest but they are a cute design they've got the skiers on they've got a lot of pajamas but none of like the ones that have gone viral on tiktok typical <laughs> there never is is there you see, what are these? No, they're red Mickey Mouse. I don't know if to get these. So we've got to have some, we can't not have any. Other than literally this, I mean, are they even cute though? Like, I feel like these at least are Christmassy. I think these, they're very similar. I think these must be the bottoms of what I was looking for. But they haven't got the tops anyway. Oh, this, wait, I didn't notice that. Oh god, they, guys, they've got them. Oh my god, okay. But, I mean, are they cute? I mean, yeah, they are. They're a bit expensive for Asda pyjamas, I'm not gonna lie, I mean. Hello guys, right, I'm just gonna jump in the shower and get my makeup off, it's so late. Well, I say it's so late, it's nine o'clock. <laughs> which feels like to me and you know you just feel like you've been rushing around all day like that's just how i feel so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna jump in the shower take my makeup off put my pajamas on and then i thought i'd sit down with you guys and give you a little haul because i've got some skincare bits and obviously i'll show you the pajamas that i got from asda but i'm just gonna jump in the shower i feel disgusting like dinner was actually really good though i cooked it with you in like a vlog myself oh, honestly if that doesn't explain me right now i cooked it with you in like a vlogmas last week which is why i was like i just won't show you the recipe but if you want the recipe then go back a few vlogmases and it's in that but or um alternatively go on to tiktok and type in marry me pasta and it's that it's the marry me chicken but instead of potato it's with pasta and i did it with like i don't know what the pasta was called but it was really nice i liked it because it was almost like little like bowls of the sauce rather than like the spaghetti so yes um I am going to jump in the shower, I take the makeup off, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm out. I'm feeling better. Sometimes all you genuinely need is a bath. I'm feeling clean, I'm feeling fresh, got my PJs on. And these are the pyjamas I got. Got them, us both, in a 12 to 14, because they're the only size they had, but they're like this. They were baby pink, but are not my favourite. They were eighteen pound. They've got little skiers on. They're not like soft like this. They're more like flannelly, but I feel like they they do hold their shape a lot more. So I do really like them. And they've got little skiers on. I feel like they're quite timeless. And they've got a little white trim. So yeah, I saw on TikTok that um, Asda had just like suddenly come out with loads of new Christmas pajamas and was sort of like blowing up from them. So not blowing up, but they were blown up. So. Yeah, oh, put the heat blanket on. Lovely. Ollie is just downstairs watching a film with his brother. So I said, well, I'm going to get into bed because I've got Vlogmas to edit and I've got an early start tomorrow because we're off to Bista Village and I'm going to pick me up at half seven-ish. So, because we want to get there early, I just have a fear of it being really busy. So, yeah. And what I've actually got is a little skincare haul. So these are all products that mia has brought or been sent and tried and like aren't acne safe per se so like she's just found them like flare up her skin she has obviously a bit more like sensitive skin like she does react to things whereas i like normally took to work and don't really re react to things so she was like try all these bits see how you got on so 
I don't know some of the stuff we've got. So this is a drunk elephant. It's a retinol and it's a A A G L O E I Martinol oil. <laughs> Looks like this. And it says a, a skin smoothing treatment that combines vegan retinol. I've never used retinol before. I know that like you have to be quite careful with it. So it refines skin texture, minimises the appearance of lines, hyperpigmentation, blemishes and sun damage while locking in glow and restoring a healthy glow. Morning or night, apply two to three drops to a clean, dry face. May be mixed with any moisturiser or serum. So that's that. And then we've got a retinol reface. Apply nightly to cleanse skin. And this is by a brand called Indeed Laboratories. Let me know, guys, about, like, the best retinol products you've used. Because I've never used them. I've heard Mia talk about them a little bit. And I've heard lots of friends who talk about them. But I don't really know much. So let me know. Should I be applying it? How should I be applying it? And let me know your recommendations. <laughs> then I think I've used this. It's the Inky List glycolic acid toner it helps reduce the appearance of pores and like i've been using the caudalie caudalie mask i get like pores here like on my nose and like under my eye not under my eye but like here i don't really suffer from them anywhere else but that mask has helped them but like i can still definitely feel them so maybe this will help so this is a toner to use in the pm use on cleansed skin follow with serums and moisturisers so that's that then we have got a red pepper super serum i do like this brand actually it's called eborian and it's a korean skin brand they've got makeup as well oh shit sorry didn't mean to throw that at you so that's that i don't know how to use that or what but that's fun and then last two we have got the Bioma Balancing Face Mist. This has got triceramide antibiotic, probiotics even. And so it says boosted barrier, better skin. A lightweight face mix plus a power with triceramide complex plus a powerful balancing blend replenishes and strengthens the skin's microbiome. Mimics natural barrier function, working to calm redness for hydrated, soft and refined refreshed skin i do get like slight redness i don't know if it was sharp on can you see like imagine if the smooth wasn't on here and like sometimes here but mainly here so i feel like we could give that a little spritz i've always wanted to try that brand actually i see it in selfridges a lot it seemed to just like come out of nowhere i don't know if it was like popular in other countries but i feel like in england it all of a sudden just like come oh i like that as well so they've got ingredients and then it says like what they're all actually for there, which is nice and then finally this is what i'm most excited about because i've heard so many of the girlies rave on about this it's the Laneige face i think it's the moisturizer yeah it's the blue hyaluronic gel moisturizer water bank i've seen severe and chintzy work with Laneige on this and oh i like how it opens look oh. right let me try and use some of these products but i need to do them in the right order Right, let's use this and then I'll find out how I should be using because I know I don't know if this is retinol or it's just got retinol in. So let's put a bit of this on. I've never used drunk elephant. Oh, it's very thick, it's like quite oily. Mm, it smells like something the Inculus, it smells like the Inculus oat cleansing balm. Okay. And then let's go in with a little bit of the Laneige. I feel like all the girls are obsessed with Laneige. I mean, I do love their lip product. So I'd like to think I would like their skin products. It's very like watery, like water based. It almost feels like, I don't even know, like it's like wobbly almost. It feels very hydrated. My face feels very hydrated. And let's give it a little spritz of the bioma. Oh, big fat. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Is that how I'm supposed to do it? Yeah. It's very direct. 
gosh. It does say put onto clean, dry skin, but how are you supposed to put them all on clean, dry skin? I mean, I know it's not wet, but my face feels wet. Right, I'm not going to put anything else on, so I don't really, I don't need to put every. Oh no, I made a right mess of that Laneige then. Spilled it all down the side. Shit. So thank you so much, Mia. Very appreciated. I'll let you guys know if I get any reactions or anything, but normally like i know i've had this weird flare out recently but normally my skin is very unproblematic un so i can turn the light off now i this is how it looks nice i haven't got my i haven't put any Laneige on my lips all day my lips are feeling dry i don't know where it is though but yeah i'm gonna sit and edit vlogmas it is 25 to 10 so hopefully i should be done for about half 10 if not i can finish some little bits off in the morning before i go to Mr. village but i hope you guys did enjoy this video i don't know how much footage i've got i just started importing it i don't know if we got the most footage but it really was one of those situations where we were like trying to get really good content and like show you guys but there's also like one what i mean there's only so much you can actually show ice skating like once you've skated it's like boring for you guys to watch and then too like we just really wanted to be in the moment and like have more of like a wholesome you know like it's finding the balance and we always like work to find like a better balance sometimes we like go more for the vlog and like we don't end up being very present with each, with each other and then we can go the opposite way where we're like really present with each other and i'm like shit we haven't vlogged all day so i feel like this is just a nice balance and i hope you guys did really enjoy this video i can't believe that this was vlogmas day 20 like it felt like this i don't know i'm just like i'm feeling proud of myself i mean i don't want to like jinx anything but I have like thoroughly enjoyed this so much and I hope that you guys have been in have been enjoying it too. So if you do, then don't forget to subscribe. I will have contacted the giveaway winner the day that you're watching this. So I just want to say as well, I got some messages on Instagram yesterday, like saying that you'd receive messages or replies to comments saying like that you'd won the giveaway. And I just wanted to reiterate, unless it comes from like my account, it's a scam it's a scam or it's spam or it's a bot like i think they just must pick up on keywords in videos or like um descriptions and like going into the comments to basically try and scam people so always be vigilant and yeah i will be the only one who ever contacts the winner so yes i hope you guys enjoyed this we'll have one last giveaway on sunday so let me know if there's anything in particular that you would like to see but in the meantime, enjoy the rest of Vlogmas. I love you guys so much. We've got a very fun day planned for tomorrow. And then I promise we'll make the best videos for the rest of the week before the big day. So I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next one. Good night.